How couldn't I? I don't really got time for that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I ain't sleeping right for that. You ain't gotta ask, you know what I've been at. Making all this money ain't no time to slack. But when I test still, you see, come on, set it to This is it. This is me. This is a real deal. We're here. We're doing it. We're podcasting. Listen. First of all, whoever made this raisin cookie, oatmeal raisin cookie, they put their foot in this thing, boy. But honestly, it's really good. It's a really good cookie. Anyway, it's a really, really good cookie. <clears throat> so, uh, it's crazy how, uh, to me, it's crazy how everybody has an opinion. And along with their opinion, they have anger. But I can understand it because I used to be that way. I don't know which camera to look at. It's my first time to do this. Testing? All right, we're good. But, um, yeah, it's amazing. Everybody has anger to go along with their opinion. And if you don't agree, they try to, they argue with you for a little bit. Oh, they leave you alone. But a lot of people are afraid of that confrontation. And so, in, in effect, they're afraid to speak their mind because they don't want to be, you know, especially on social media. Some people like to say things to get away with things. Some people like to say things to tell the truth. Other people like to say things that they don't agree with. And then other the other person comes on it, disagrees on what they disagree with. And it becomes like a little stupid scuffle. You know? So what I do in effect is I take a I take an opportunity to be like, just tell the truth. I just have to say what I believe. Why would I be afraid to say what I believe when they're not afraid to say what they believe? Isn't that crazy? But then, <clears throat> what it ends up doing, especially when somebody has anger, it ends up putting a divide between people, bringing people apart. Once again, I don't know which camera to look at. But they put their foot in this cookie. But, um, man, people, what, what I'm learning is people really got to drop their anger. And a lot of people say it's the right thing. The world tells you anger is a good thing. And it's not. I mean, that's why people smoke weed in the first place. That's why people drink in the first place. And that's why people have sex in the first place, because they're in a place, they want to feel good, they know how to physically feel good, they do it, and they release it. But then it keeps coming back, so then you become addicted to that process. With anything. I'm not just speaking on, you know, um, okay, I'm not going to eat that nasty sugar cookie. But I will eat this chocolate chip cookie. In a moment, take my time. That was good. Let me wash this. Ah. I forgot where I was, honestly. That brings me into my second issue of airing your opinions online in the first place. Um... Necessar I don't necessarily always think it's a good idea, but at the same time, if you look at our country, we're slowly but surely, and not even slowly, we're rapidly progressing into some wild things, man. And we're going down a, a hill where it, the snowball keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. 
a black person can call another black person the N-word, and I could say it, but I'd just rather not. I'm going to say it. A black person can call another black person nigga. But if a white person calls somebody nigga, and, and, and to me, it's just still fairly new. And at one point, people were mad about it, right? That, um, that white people had called them nigga. And, and like, whether it was a fight growing up, I remember this. It was everything. Puerto Ricans, blacks, whites, mixed breed like me, white and black. It, it was a lot of different people I grew up with. Super black people, light black people, albino, well, not really albino, they never go up with them, but I've seen them, you know what I mean? I don't really have any albino friends, I think about it. But I met this dwarf one time, and I think that's the cor- correct word. He, I met him at a spiritual growth camp <coughs> when I was younger. It was nice, bro. Like at first, I was a little bit awed by it, but he was such a nice guy. I was like, "Wow, he's a nice guy." I'd actually want to hang out with. You ever met somebody on the first day you meet him? You're like, "Wow, that's a nice guy." When you see people like that, it makes you want to be that, you know. Whether they were happy for a moment or they're happy like that all the time. When you meet people that are nice and they make you happy, well, not make you, but being around them is kind of a blessing. Because their their spirit inside of them is good. I guess at the moment, maybe. I don't know. If, it, if it's good, one for no man is good. But we do have the want to be good. But for most of us, we do evil. It's easy. It's really easy to do evil. And there's a lot of things that people think are evil and don't think people think are evil. And they're like, well, me and you don't have the same morals. And the truth is the people don't have the same quote-unquote morals or the same beliefs would be the people that you are not supposed to be like. I'm not supposed to be like a person of the world. If I call myself a Christian, I'm not supposed to be of, this is a good cookie, the people of the world. I'm not supposed to partake in what they partake in. And not because the people are any less than me, but because I was instructed not to. And ever since I've been living by, I can't believe this is on the counter the whole time. Ever since I've been living by, I'm trying to say this the right way, but I just should go out and say it. Ever since I've been living by the ways I was taught as a child in Christian values, life has been beautiful. Even for me to sit right here and do something that I've always wanted to do and just express myself in in a large format, just following God's ways helped me do that. But um, whether if anybody, you know, watches this right now of when I post it or people don't watch this till five years from now, the reason why we strive to be good is because it's fun. You know what I mean? And I'm having the time of my life right now. It's crazy. A lot of people, you know, they have, like I said in the beginning, they have these opinions. And if you don't line up with their opinions... And you tell them what you think about their opinions. When they tell you after what you thought about my opinions. They get upset. Because their way is the only way that it could possibly be thought of. I know this for a fact. And they don't question. They say you do that. But at the same time they do that. And then they get mad at you afterwards. And probably, well, maybe, maybe they stay mad at you. If they're full of anger, it's natural. It's, it's okay. It's, it's, I don't blame you. You don't know any better. But I met a lot of people, man, that every single time I was around them, they were good. And I've, like, well, they made, it was a good time. It was always a good time. 
and life was fun. When I experienced fun, I, I feel like I experienced good. And there's things we do today, especially people my age. There's things we do today where we think are fun, but aren't fun. We destroy ourselves. Even with this stupid cookie. If I eat too many of this, I could, I could destroy myself. It's fun to eat one, you know? Eat too many, you get a tummy ache. And you blow up. I used to have a need to want to be loved. And now that I don't get my love from a person, I get my love from God. It's super fun, too. The only reason why I tell people why, why I believe what I believe, because I see, not only do I see the future of where this mindset of thinking goes, which is anything that's bad is hatred. When you develop a hatred, that's when you go bad. When you develop that anger, anger is of hatred. It doesn't come from a happy place, you know what I mean? If someone has an ounce of anger in their heart or one, one itty bit of anger, you can flare it up like nothing. And to raid yourself of that is to overcome the world. <laughs> like, to be free of not only judgment and fear and doubt and worry <coughs> and scared, not knowing the future. Being okay with not knowing the future. Trusting God through it all. Everything always works out great, man. But you have to do what he says. I wish you got the only reason all right, back to what I was saying before though. But the only reason why I would let you guys know on this is because I want you guys to experience the same thing. It's really simple. It's very simple. I feel like I'm walking on water. Every single day, man. Life is great, bro. Not even a bit, not even a bit of hassle. <laughs> Stop having sex before marriage, get a job, get a house, get a, buy your car, own it, don't, don't, don't fleece it, buy it in cash, have it, rent. Until you got a good fat down payment to put down on that new house you're about to get. Do that. You may have fun like that. Learn how to shoot a gun. Buy yourself a pair of new tires. <laughs> uh, grow a beard. Brush your teeth, floss them, shave your neck, edge your hair. You know what I mean? Just little things. Take care of yourself. Respect yourself. Respect yourself enough to where right your wrongs, forgive those you hate, and live in peace. It's amazing. No, but really, it really is amazing. Life is so good. And it's all out here abundantly ready to live. But you got to be willing to make that sacrifice and do away with the stupid things that you used to do in the past. Life is so beautiful. I'm not angry, not one bit. If something comes for me, at least I'll be able to defend myself. I'll give him a little fight. You know what I mean? But just in case, we ready. All right, I know I said I wasn't going to eat this cookie. Uh, holy smokes. I don't know. 
if this is a good enough podcast to post. But um, since this would be, my, I gotta get a, I gotta get a second, I gotta get a buddy with me, to make like more of a dialogue. But this was fun. We'll have some guests on soon. Make sure you guys forgive. And when you truly forgive, you forget. You don't have to make yourself forget. It just goes away. So. Like I said, forgive, let go of it, become yourself, and then and then try to find yourself, know yourself. That's how I did. I began to know myself, and when I got started on knowing myself, then I started to let things go, and the stress started to come off, because I, I was walking around, I didn't even know who I was. I was, I was what everybody else told me I was. I wasn't who God showed me I was. Excuse me, I am. So anyway, life is fun. You guys, make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell. But anyway, this is my first drop. Um, yeah, man. See you again next week. Hit that little bell. Mother- <laughs>